Today we're going to be showing you where to find the cybersecure software as well as how to get that set up and programmed with your device. So in order to download the software, you can go to our website, backstreetsurveillance.com, click on support, manuals and guides. Customer support CD main menu. And you can find all this information in the cybersecure series folder located here. We want the software. And since we're on a 64-bit Windows system, we're going to download this uh, VMS64bit.exe. Okay, now that it's been downloaded and installed, we have the software located here. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Default password for the surveillance software is the same as on your devices, 123456, with admin as a username. And once we log in here, it's going to search across your network for any devices. Right? We don't want to add individual cameras to the software here. We just want to add our NVR, which is right here, this Cybersecure 16 channel NVR. And now that it's been added, it shows that it's online. If you have a custom password set on your NVR, you'll need to go to Control Panel, then Device Management. Click on the pencil and type in that custom password here before the software can connect to it. Okay, now that it's connected, you can see our cameras here. We've got a few cameras connected on the system. Uh, on the left hand side, you can see the MVR and you can see that there are three cameras plugged into it. You can drag these cameras to any window that you need to across these, uh, these four channels here. Or if you have more than four cameras connected, you can choose different layouts. So three camera layout, if you're doing corridor mode, you can do a four channel layout with one larger up here and the rest smaller. There's a few different layout options you can use. And then if you have a layout that you like, configured that you would like to you know show all the time you can save that layout down here so if you rearrange your cameras a specific way and you want to save that you can just click save view down here and that'll save that view going forward you can close all the windows here you know if you're looking at a bunch of cameras and you want to close them all at once you can just hit close all window and then just drag the ones you want back over And then you've got a snapshot all. So if you're seeing multiple things happening, or if you just want to take a snapshot across all your devices at one time, you can just click that snapshot all button. And then I'll create a snapshot here and save it in a folder that you can then open and you know, transfer to a drive or you know set as a wallpaper or whatever you'd like to do with that. You've also got manual recording and to turn off manual recording. So essentially you can record a segment straight to your computer's hard drive if you see something that your MVR may not be recording. These two functions don't interfere with the recording on the MVR. These are completely independent and let you capture something on the fly that you think you might wanna save. If you're not sure if the MVR is capturing it or if there's no hard drive in the MVR, or if you just want to save it onto the computer directly so you don't have to back it up off the MVR at a later date, you can use those functions for that as well. Then we've got some alarm functions down here. Uh, you can change it so you can see motion detection, when it started, when it ended. You can preview a file that was recorded when the motion detection started or ended. The next option here is you can change to a, an alarm live view. So if any of the cameras are currently on an alarm state, like if motion has been triggered or any of the advanced recording has been triggered, you can click this button here and see what that looks like live as it's happening, which would be useful with a large amount of cameras. You don't have to keep track of them all. You've got recording download here. This will just let you download recordings straight off the unit. Uh, so this is not making a clip. This would be downloading the whole segment, which would be useful if you needed to back up an entire hard drive 
onto your computer for some reason. Uh, you would use that function instead of using clips to make the to make that happen. And then lastly, we've got task management, which basically just shows, you know, if you're downloading a bunch of files, you can come here to see which ones are still downloading, which ones are completed, which ones are paused, you know, if you need to pause them at any point, or, you know, which ones were left over after you stopped downloading them. And we've also got some options here in the camera window. We've got a snapshot icon, which you can use the same as before, it's just for an individual camera. You've got a start local recording, which will just record the feed from this one camera to your hard drive if you need to. Uh, PTZ controls, there's a digital zoom, as well as audio, two-way audio if the camera supports it, and an instant playback which if you click instant playback, will just rewind about 10 minutes and start playing it from that point in time. And you can see here at the bar at the bottom that it's, it's scrolling through playback. That was just a few minutes ago. And then you click that button again and you can go back to the live feed.